here you are. Beautiful. Full of different flavor, huh? Many layers. And levels of uh, aroma and good taste. Yummy. Let's serve it. Without delay. <laughs> Hello, lovely friends all over the world. Now today we have a very simple recipe, huh? For the meat tea lovers, huh? And uh, now first we get the this uh, pork ribs are uh, dried up uh, after soaking in uh, salt or uh, water with ginger, okay. And then after soaking, then we dry it up. Uh, so it's now dry, a pack dry with uh, the cloth. And now we are going to marinate it. And then we have the Chinese um, uh, salted beam curd uh, in cubes, uh, and so it's quite salty. And now we have. Uh, take out four cubes uh, already uh, from here and after taking four cubes uh, then we would add a little bit wine here okay already add uh, just skip the, the step and then now we uh, get I have already um, smashed two cubes already uh, and now we continue smash the remaining two smash the cubes so that it become a beautiful paste uh. Which is yummy, huh? This is a really like a Chinese cheese. Huh? You have cheese in the Western world, and then uh, the Chinese use this soil product as our cheese. Huh? It's so yummy, and it's after fermentation. Then you have the beautiful flavor from the plant. Huh? A plant, a very good plant protein. Huh? And now, after you. Give it to um, a paste like this. Then you add because it's quite salty, uh, so we can add uh, just half a teaspoon of uh, sugar. Uh, this is half teaspoon, just to make it more uh, give a new dimension to this paste. And then now we also have a shallots. Okay, so we also have uh, uh, at least uh, one tablespoon of shallots. And then we have one tablespoon of uh, uh, garlic, okay? Like this together. And then now we also add uh, some grated ginger. Uh, this can be applied directly to here, but I think it's too busy. So we, we just just grate the ginger like this directly onto the pork ribs, yes. About one tablespoon also. Uh. Meanwhile, we'll get ready uh, some uh, finely uh, strips, uh, cut uh, finely cut strips of uh, ginger. And then we have the, these uh, shallots also cut like this uh, in sections uh, as our base. And now we need uh, to mix, marinate for a while, okay, before it steam. Uh. Now is the time that we add this uh, beautiful sauce. Uh. And for those people who love spicy uh, uh, taste, a touch of spiciness, then you can add. Uh, uh, the chilies, huh? but because uh, my my guest today she doesn't like uh, spicy, so uh, so I will just add it later. But for those who love spicy and hot food, then you can add some chili on in this sauce. Huh? This is e even more tasty huh? for me. Just, you know, people have different preference, huh? so chili is optional. Okay, so you marinate at least for 15 minutes, huh? at least 15 minutes, huh? it will be much better. Huh? So this uh, has been mar marinated, our beautiful pork huh, has been marinated for 15 minutes already. And now is the time that we add the, some cornstarch huh? or flour, corn flour. Huh? To, to further absorb the, the residual water, huh? seal up, seal the surface of the pot huh? before it steam. Huh? 
and then make it more tender also uh, the corn into um, a tray and this tray is uh, now uh, lined with all the shallots okay a new plate so the, the bottom layer is full of shallots uh. the shallots would also complement further complement the the taste of the of the ribs uh. one is having an equal chance to kiss the shallots uh. This is the marinated tofu. Uh, this is optional, but you will also add taste to this uh, uh, pork. Uh, up to you. This is optional. Now, this is not optional. Uh, I recommend you to do it. Just sprinkle some of the ginger, finis, finis cut slices of shrimps of ginger on top. Uh, and then it can put into the steamer. Uh, for at least uh, 10 minutes uh, depends on the on, on the size of the dish 10 to 15 minutes uh, so that it's fully cooked uh, so you have to check yourself because uh, it depends on the quantity and the size of your pork ribs okay and after the water is boiled then you put it into the steamer the water is fully boiled okay we reduce the fire before we hurt our hands uh. and then we will put this uh, Pork rib inside, and we in case rinse the fire again, okay? And then it is steamed for at least 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, that depends on the size of your ribs, and then you have to check yourself. A few moments later, at least 12 minutes. This is done. And uh, we will sprinkle it with a little, garnish it with a little bit of spring onion, okay, on top first. And now, if you want it to be even more favorable, then you hit the wok, huh, okay? Because up to this moment, we haven't had any oil added to this uh, uh, pork ribs yet, huh? Because we want to reduce the oil. Huh? At, at, the, at uh, the final stage, we add, need to add some oil flavor huh, to this. Now, we can also add some sesame oil, okay? To roast the garlic, once the garlic is slightly roasted, then just, just evenly distribute it into our pork uh, to add more flavor to our beautiful pork. So, it's a steamed dish, but then it's full of flavor. Excellent for the meat lovers. Yes. Just sprinkle our garlic. And light up. And also use the residual heat. Huh? Just some green. Just a final touch. 